Okay, so you have finally gotten into medical school, but you have absolutely no idea about what to expect in each level of medical school. Well, the first thing you need to know is that each school has their own unique way of how they organize their medical school. But majority of these schools share many similarities. On an average, a medical degree requires a minimum of six years of undergraduate study of medicine and surgery. Remember, I said minimum. This is because the duration of study can be longer than normal for some individuals. This set of individuals may have to spend one or two years longer than normal in order to graduate with a medical degree from the university or from their medical school. Why does this happen? How come they have to spend longer than normal before they become capable of graduating with a medical degree from this school? I will be answering all of these questions and more during the course of this video. So what other similarities may exist between most medical schools in Nigeria? Well, more often than not, most medical schools share the same curriculum. That is, they offer essentially the same courses at the same level during the six years program and write virtually the same type of examination. There are four important exams that are written in medical school. These exams are commonly referred to as MB. Although in a few schools, the number of written exams are actually five and not four. When exactly into the medical program are these exams written? Which course or courses makes up these examinations? How difficult or what is the difficult level of these exams? What is expected of you as a medical student in these exams? Are there any penalties or punishments if you fail any of these exams? What are the penalties and punishments? All of these questions and more are questions that I will be answering during the course of this video. Hello there, this is Medzone TV, home to medical school excellence. Medzone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of web-packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical content, fascinating medical videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. Today we'll be breaking down each of the six years in medical school so that you can know exactly what to expect. Please sit back, relax, and listen. So let's start with year one. The first year in medical school is spent in Faculty of Science. What this means is that students get to study the same basic science courses that they studied in high school. That is biology, physics, chemistry, and mathematics. In addition to these courses, students get to study GST courses. GST simply means general studies. These courses are compulsory courses that are taken by every student in the university regardless of the course of study. That is, irrespective of the fact that you are a medical student or you are a law student, you are going to be taking the GST course. These GST courses include philosophy, English, library and information science, Nigerian culture and its people, French and many others. In most medical schools, you are expected to pass all your 100 level courses, including your GST courses, with a minimum of 50%, that is, a minimum grade of C. Students who fail to score less than a C or who fail any of the courses offered in year 1 are usually dropped from the medical program. What this means is that students who fail even one course, say physics for example, will be asked to withdraw from the medical program. Usually, this set of students will have to transfer to another department such as anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, or any other department that is found in the faculty of science. Let's move on to year two. The second year in medical school is typically where medical school truly begins. Unlike in year one where you were offering courses in faculty of science, in year two, you will be offering basic medical science courses. What are the basic medical science courses? The basic medical science courses are anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. In year two, you will be offering these three courses. Year two is usually one of the most difficult years in medical school. Some students may even say it is the hardest. In year two, you will be introduced to anatomy and you will get to learn the structure of the human body from what is visible to the eyes to what is visible only under the microscope. Year 2 is the year that you start learning medical terminologies and how to use them. In year 2, you will learn physiology and how it relates to the structure of the human body. You will also learn biochemistry and the different metabolic pathways. Because you are learning these things for the very first time, some students tend to find year 2 very difficult. They become confused. They start questioning themselves and asking themselves questions like, is medical school really for me? Am I sure I can really study medicine? Am I in the right place? And lots of other questions. Sometimes, it can be so bad that it takes some students the entire semester before they can finally get the hang of things and finally settle down. We have a video on how to study anatomy in medical school to make your journey easier before the exams. Usually, you don't write any major exams in year 2. Please don't get me wrong. You will normally write tests and continuous assessment exams in year 2. 
that will count towards your year 3 but you don't normally write any major exams in year 2 that will determine whether you will continue the medical program or if you will be asked to withdraw from the program but in a few schools in Nigeria you may have to write a major exam in 200 level yes you may have to write a major exam in year 2 this exam is the fifth exam I spoke about in the beginning of this video schools such as University of Illinois located in Kwara State Delta State University in Delta State, Ambusa League University in Edo State, and Federal University Duse located in Jigawa State, and a few other schools write this particular exam. This exam is called Comprehensive or 200 level MBBS Promotional Exam. This exam can determine whether or not you will proceed to third year of medical school. So let's move on to third year of medical school. The third year of medical school is the year where you write your first most important examination, that is, your first professional examination in medical school. This particular examination is usually set by the school and not by a defined board of examiners. What this means is that the exam is usually written at different times of the year by different schools and not at a particular time or day in the year by every school offering the medical program. The courses that are usually written in this particular exam are anatomy, physiology and biochemistry. In a few schools, there is a fourth course that is referred to as integrated paper which contains bits of statistics, community and behavioral science and introductory pharmacology all combined forming this fourth course. This course is not offered or included in the curriculum of many schools. Each of the courses that will be written in this professional examination will contain questions from the second year and third year of medical school. The minimum pass mark in each of these courses is 50%. Anything below 50% is regarded as fee. Getting 50% in any of these courses will require tremendous efforts and dedication towards studying. In a situation whereby a student fails the exam in any of these courses, that student will be given a second chance to rewrite the examination in at least three months time. If such a student still fails to pass this receipt examination, that student will have to repeat the class. Yes, that student will have to repeat his third year in medical school. This will mean that the student will spend one year longer than normal in medical school. Yes, this would mean that the student will spend one year longer than normal in medical school. Let's move on to the fourth year of medical school. The fourth year of medical school is also referred to as the part and farm year. This was the hardest year for me in medical school. The year four class usually spans a period of 13 to 14 months. It usually marks the transition of preclinical to clinical years. The second year and the third year of medical school are usually referred to as the preclinical years, while the fourth year to sixth year of medical school are referred to as the clinical years. You will be introduced to the hospital environment for the very first time during your fourth year in medical school. Fourth year teaches you how to think like a doctor. It allows you to appreciate what is normal and what is abnormal and what to do about it. In the fourth year of medical school, you will be introduced to pathology and its different branches. You will learn about the different diseases that can cause illness or sickness to the human body and the etiology of these diseases. You will also be introduced to pharmacology in your fourth year. You will learn about the different drugs that can be used to cure different diseases that affect man. In the fourth year, you will be writing your second of four important professional exams. Yes, in the fourth year, you will be writing your second professional examination in pathology and pharmacology that will take you to your fifth year in medical school. Let's move on to the fifth year of medical school. The fifth year of medical school is also referred to as O and G and pediatrics year. In year five, you'll be going through the different specialties of medicine and surgery seven days a week and 24 hours a week. Every new clinical rotation and every new consultant brings a new and different challenge. You don't always know what to expect during what round, early morning doctor's meetings or morning reviews, theater sections or during calls. You learn new stuff about the human body every day. Year 5 is usually the longest year in most medical schools. In my school, year 5 is about 15 months. At the end of year 5, you will write the third out of the four important professional examinations in medical school. You will write the third professional examination in obstetrics and gynecology and pediatrics. It is expected that at the end of year 5, you should be able to diagnose and treat women and children presenting to you even though you have not been officially licensed by the board to do so. Year 5 requires a lot of patience, dedication, zeal just like other levels or before it. It is not impossible to fail an exam or repeat in year 5 as well as in year 4. If a student fails the main exam as well as the receipt examination in year 5 or in year 4, such a student will be asked to repeat the year. Thus, such a student will have to spend an additional year in medical school. And if that student had already repeated in third year, such a student will be spending 8 years in medical school instead of 6 years because of the extended years. Let's move on to the sixth year of medical school. This is the last and final year in medical school. In most medical schools, the duration could range from between 7 months to 9 months. 
Courses that are usually offered in the city of medical school are medicine, surgery, and community medicine. The medical student usually does his or her undergraduate project in community medicine. At sixth year, you can already see the finish line of a marathon race you started several years ago. You can already perceive what being called a doctor feels like. All your family members and relatives are already calling you a doctor even though you have not been officially inducted into the profession. Your friends and junior colleagues are all proud of you. You have already started imagining what you will use all the money you will make from housemanship to do. You have already started choosing hospitals you would like to work in and how to relocate to a better environment. At sixth year, a lot of things have already fallen into place. Your mind is usually at peace because you know that a journey of six years or more is about to come to an end. Year six is usually the year when you write the last and final professional exam. That is, year six is the year where you write your fourth professional exam in medicine, surgery, and community medicine. After this exam, it is assumed that you have graduated and you are sure to become a doctor. Sadly, it is not impossible to fail this exam. Some students do fail this particular exam. If any student fails this exam, they are given a second chance to rewrite this exam after three months. If they fail to pass this receipt examination, they are asked to repeat the sixth year. As sad as this may sound, it does occur. In fact, it commonly occurs in some medical schools. And that is it. The six years of medical school is broken down for you so that you can know exactly what to expect in each year of medical school. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, share, and comment to tell us any specific areas or topics you need help in. Also, if you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, please hit the subscribe button now.